hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and this is a girl who made a creator in today's video we show you how to edit a video on your phone using the angel app yeah. wow <laughs> one thing i like about this app is that it's totally free to download so if you don't have it yet on your phone just go to your play store or apple store So when you open the InShot app, this is the interface that you are going to meet and you select the video because today we are focusing on the video. When you are done selecting your videos, the next thing I will advise you to do is to remove the watermark because you don't want to make it look too obvious that you used phone to edit your videos. So when you click on the watermark, there will be three options, which is the InShot Pro, remove permanently and remove this ones, which is free. So I always go for <laughs> remove this ones. <laughs> but if you are interested in the InShot Pro, you can choose it because you get access to other features, which is so cool and amazing. The next thing to do is to click the canvas icon at the bottom of the screen. You will then see options to change the ratio, which is suitable for platforms such as Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, etc. Because of this video, be focusing on YouTube. You can zoom in to allow your video to fill the full screen and zoom out to generate your own background. So, with this, you can add colorful borders around your content. So, you can choose whatever colors you think will fit your video. So, the next thing is trimming down the length of your video and cutting out the sections you wish to discard. So here it seems I made a replication of my angel. So I I will delete one of them. When deleting a scene, you first have to select the part that you want to delete. Then you tap on the delete icon. Then that's it. You just delete it. It's so simple. So for the last part where I said yeah, like I just want to crop it out. So what you have to do is to trim that side, like move it forward slightly and. It's removed that part is gone okay when you are done trimming your videos you might want to arrange your scenes well because when you upload them on your in shots they may arrange wrongly so you might want to arrange them more to the you can also split your scenes into different parts this is when you want different effect in one scene so you just have to split that part then you add the effect to it so when you split that part, adding effects to it won't affect other scenes. So the next thing is transitions. You can add transitions between your scenes. Yeah. So you just play around with it and select what you think would fit best for your video. Okay. InShot allows you to record your voice for your video. So when you want to record your voice to the video, you first have to do your video or do whatever you want to do. After that, you upload it in InShot, then you select the audio button, then you record your voice to it. You see, InShot features a variety of music. You may also use the music in the iTunes library. The app even offers sound effects. So as I said earlier, just play around it and you will be familiar with all the effects there. So the next thing is freezing. You can freeze a part of your video to make emphasis on something. So there is an option to reverse a video. Reversing a video basically means that it is going to start from the end of the video to the beginning of the video. So you can also flip your video. I, I just don't like flipping my video because it makes me feel like I'm looking somewhere. <laughs> So I just don't like flipping my videos. By clicking the filter options, you can add different animation and effects to your videos. And to make your video look like it is glitching, each of these effects can be scaled up or down. So by clicking the filter, you can add various scans to your content, which can be applied across all the clips or just the one that you've selected. You can also adjust the colors of your video, which is the contrast things. Like, just play around with these tools. So, next, you can add text to your videos. You get options to write whatever you like that with different fonts and colors. So, 
i chose subscribe because i have a reason for it please if you are watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay the test can be moved freely over the frame and can have its own start and end time which gives you so much control when it comes to editing okay. finally you can also add a personal touch by adding a custom stickers to your videos there's a lot of stickers so you just have to choose the one that you think you like you can also choose an image from your camera roll this is when you want to make an emphasis on a particular thing okay. finally when everything is ready tap on the save button and begin the rendering process